morning. It's Tuesday morning, and uh, the title of our devotion today is called Doubting God's Goodness. And, you know, Marcia, if I could go back to that yesterday where we were talking about if we don't get the answer, many times then we doubt. We were talking doubting that it's God's will. I, I want to go to another story that I think will, will point something out to that uh, to help you understand a little bit. It's in Genesis chapter 3. You know the story. Um, God has said to Adam and Eve, he said, you can eat of all uh, any of the trees in the garden, but of this one here, the garden of uh, the tree of good and evil. And, uh, and he, he told them, he told Adam, not, not Eve, he told Adam, in the day that you die, you eat that, you'll surely die. And he meant die spiritually. And, and, and he won't die right then, but he began to die after that. Thing. Yeah, yeah, but I like what uh, you can tell, because this is the story between uh, the serpent and Eve, not Adam, all right? Uh -huh. So That's God right. gave Adam the word first. And then, so notice what Eve heard, because the serpent comes and says, you can have that. And it says, uh, it's the only tree, the fruit from the tree that in the middle of the garden that we are not allowed to eat. God said, listen to it, God said, this is not what God said, but this is what Adam told her evidently. <laughs> you must not eat it or even touch it, for if you do, you will die. Mm -hmm. And the devil said, you won't die. God knows that your eyes will be open to good and evil. You'll, you'll be like God. You'll know all of these things. And, and it says she was convinced. So you know when she touched it and she didn't and die. And she didn't die. That's so right. It's like God's a liar. Well, wait a minute. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, God's not telling you. He's withholding something from you. The scripture says God withholds no good thing from you. That's right. So, you know, if the thing you're asking for isn't coming to pass, maybe the first question in your mind is, maybe I'm not asking right. Yeah. You know, maybe, well, maybe not. I, maybe it's not what God has Maybe for it's me. not what God wants from me, That's you know, right. in, uh, in my life. And I believe it's really important because it, what, what the devil does when we don't get the answers, he causes us or he wants to create, a, get us to um, uh, doubt God's goodness. Amen. Amen. Got to start the timer. Okay. Keep going. Keep, <laughs> Keep going. going. We we tie. I have to time these. Yeah. Uh, we're good. So pray. We're good. So, but you're right uh, because Eve was convinced that that this wouldn't hurt you. If if that's true, we might as well be able to eat it, right? Yeah. And then then the scripture that he says. She saw that the tree was beautiful and it's fruit, fruit looked delicious. She wanted the wisdom to give to her. So she took some of the fruit and ate it. Then she gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate it too. Yeah. So he was sit, standing there yeah. the whole time the serpent was talking and he didn't cr come against yeah. him or anything. That's what happens to us sometimes. Yeah. We know the truth of the word and we don't speak it out like we should. Adam could have spoken God's yeah. word. And this whole thing would have stopped. Yeah, if he were indeed standing there, he could have intervened and said, no, no, wait a minute, Eve. God didn't say we couldn't touch it. You know, yeah. you can touch it, you won't die. God didn't say you couldn't touch it. He said you couldn't eat it. That's right. You know, and there is a big difference. We need to get it right, what God says in the Word of God. Let's quit Let's quit misquoting the word because I hear people do that all the time. They misquote God. If you don't know the correct word, go back to the Bible and look it up, Amen. all right? That's why we keep saying to you that every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father of lights above. And I like this, the way that verse ends. It says, in whom there is no variableness nor shadow of turning. That means that God doesn't change. What he said here, what was written in this book 2,000 years ago, is just as true today That's and right. applicable in our lives as when it was written. And his goodness is for you, not against you. Sure. And, you know, the one scripture that we go over and over that was revelation to us was John 10.10. 10. Yes. And Pastor Charles will tell you, he'll do the T-chart. You'll put uh, life, life more abundantly and still kill and destroy on the other side. So when you're praying... What you're praying, are you praying the word? Are you believing God for life, uh, abundant life? Yes. If it gives you life and life more abundantly, that's from God. Yeah. That's his goodness. But if it steals, kills, or destroys anything in your life, it's not God. That's not God. It's not God. And if something's happened to you and it's still it was stolen from you, or you were something was killed or destroyed in your life, that was not God bringing judgment on you. 
That's the enemy. That's the way he does. Just what he did to Adam and Eve Amen. in the garden, didn't Amen. he? Amen. He well, stole from them. I think the question really when it boils down to it, Marcia, is does God really care about us? That's right. You know, because I can does, say unequivocally, he? I believe God cares about us. Right. Well, his word says that he does. I know. Over and over. But then personally, I know he cares yes. for me. I sense his caring for me, his arms around me, his loving me. Amen. Amen. Well, we want you to know, don't doubt God's goodness. Amen. Amen. Don't doubt God's goodness. We love you. Be blessed. See you tomorrow.